Hello guys, oh boy, Nicola Motors. I was definitely not planning to do this video because I think that there are a lot of people already talking about it on YouTube and it didn't make sense to me. But I put this poll in my Instagram and apparently majority of people wanted me to do it. So let's get into it. But before, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this stock. Is it all hype? Have you bought the stock? And I'm going to explain everything I know. I will also compare it with other companies, but just wanted to know your thoughts first. I think it's already pretty obvious what Nikola Motors does, or at least he's planning to do as a company. Um, Nikola, it's really easy to understand. Here's what we do. We build zero emission semi trucks, both hydrogen and battery electric trucks. But what is going on with this stock? Is it really the new Tesla stock, the Tesla killer? Is it a good investment or is it just a Tesla competitor? Right now it is trading at a price of $58 per share and has a market cap of $20 billion. It's been down more than 35% since its highest price of $92 on Tuesday. What this tells me is that a lot of people just invested on it for a quick money and I mean that is completely fine. People like to speculate and they trade these type of hype stocks just like it happened with Tilray stock. Everyone got FOMO and started investing in its way up and it went from 20 something dollars to $150 and now it's at $9 and a lot of people lost a lot of money because of that guys but I mean they at least had a revenue and a product to sell, but well. Let me tell you guys that first, it is impossible for me to analyze this stock the way that I normally do by going through their financials since we can't really find any income statement, balance sheet, or any cash flow statement here to be able to sustain their current market cap. But let me explain everything I've read and know about them. First, they came out of nowhere and merged with a public company previously listed in the stock market as VTIQ to avoid fees and the time that it takes to get listed in the stock market. Because of that, Nikola Motors raised $700 million, which is expected to accelerate Nikola's production. And let me tell you something, this industry is a money drainer and we have seen it with Tesla because it is a brand new industry. They have to spend a lot of money in research, analysis and data collection, marketing productions and way more things. Nikola will have to raise way more money to be able to sustain until they have any kind of revenue. And yes, they don't have any revenue. They have not sold one vehicle yet. What they have is a plan, a pattern, and a prototype, but even haven't started production yet. Yes, before you say anything about their 10 million pre-orders, they have $10 billion in potential revenue from pre-orders at the moment. Potential revenue, nothing secure yet. No one has paid anything for their pre-orders, so still no revenue. They are expected to generate revenue by 2021 with their first truck model and then the second model will be out on 2023. So basically they are just a concept company right now, they have a prototype and everything but it's impossible to know if they will be able to do what they say which means that everyone buying this stock is hoping that the company will have the massive revenue that they are saying. Something that doesn't feel right is the uncertainty around the company. For example, Trevor Milton, the founder of the company, the guy that have appeared in so many in the interviews lately, is no longer Nikola's CEO. He is now an executive chairman. The new CEO is called Mark Russell, which in my opinion is important to know and I really don't understand why he's no longer a CEO. Another crazy thing is that they have said before that Nikola Motors is a vertical integrated company which means that the supply chain is owned by the same company just like Tesla. The difference between Nikola and everybody else is that we provide the entire supply chain. So that, that means not just the truck but everything with it. That means the truck, the fuel, the service, the warranty and the maintenance. Very similar to Amazon, how Amazon controls the whole supply chain. We do the same thing with trucking and we make about five times more revenue than any of our competitors per truck sold. And then we read this that says that they partner with IVECO, Iveco, or Iveco, who are building their factories and producing their vehicles. Then companies like Ryder, who will do their sales and services, also NEL and Bosch for co-development, strategic supply chain, and equipment supplier for hydrogen stations. 
don't really know. Everything for me is very confusing right now. Also, I'm gonna link some of his interview down below in the description. I do recommend you guys go and watch them. They are really short and you will know more about his history. How he claims being the leader in so many things in the market and even being able to beat Amazon at the moment. So I do really recommend you guys go and watch those interviews. I do not want to come here and talk about them because it doesn't make sense to me. But well, make your own choices, guys. Do your due diligence before investing in anything, trading or selling anything. Because at the end of the day, me or any of these people talking about this talk here in YouTube might be wrong. And also at the end of the day, is your money being invested? Now, since everyone is saying that it is the new Tesla stock or that it is the Tesla killer, guys, Tesla has been around for years. Tesla has a market cap of almost $200 billion now. They were a $30 billion company just one year ago, and they were already having revenue at least. We all know that Tesla has gone through a lot to be able to be where they are right now. They had to raise a lot of money to go through all those problems. Plus, Elon Musk has been able to manage the company very well and overcome every single problem. As I said, this industry is very expensive and money drainers since you have to invest a lot of money in research and data collection to improve every single issue that comes up and Tesla has been doing it for years already. That is why Tesla has needed to raise so much money since they started. And yes, both companies have similar goals and both companies can be huge and be a hundred billion dollars market cap company, but one has already a proven product and it is in a very good path to profitability, while the other one is only a concept, a paper, an idea that is worth 20 billion dollars right now. If we compare with other car manufacturers, like let's say Ford, Ford has a market cap of $24 billion and it's a company that is being around since the 1900s and yes, they are not a company specified in electric cars, so let's compare it with NIO. People refer to NIO as a Tesla of China. They started having revenue just two years ago in 2018 and their market cap is only $6 billion and a company that hasn't started production yet is worth $20 billion. I know that the media also has hyped the stock a lot and the founder as well, but they're just selling us a dream and every single plan that they have for the foreseeable future. Now, don't get me wrong, I am not saying that Nikola will not be able to do everything that they have planned. Their products look very, very nice. If they really do this, it's a massive move for them and for the world. Their patterns are awesome and the idea can be a game changing. Let's say that everything goes well, that they are able to raise enough money to do everything that they want at, and the, by the end of 2021, they really have revenue. Would I invest in this company? Don't really know, maybe yes, maybe I will, but for that a lot of things need to happen before. They still have a lot to prove, I need their valuation to make sense, I need to know how their business is going to operate, where are they really going to produce their cars, do they really have the demand that they say? Anybody could reserve a truck for free and cancel it when the time comes. It's not like people needed to make a deposit like Tesla did with Model 3 where people needed to put $1,000 as down payment to reserve the car. No, anyone could reserve a truck and they might be counting that as part of the $10 billion that they have in pre-orders. They haven't sold any vehicle yet, guys. People investing in this company are just investing in hope and also maybe because they weren't able to grab Tesla stock at a very good price. I was one of them. I did not buy Tesla at the moment because I thought that my money would be better in other places last year and right now Tesla is really high and very overvalued for me to buy. So a lot of people might be thinking that, that this is the new Tesla stock and do not want to make the same mistake. But come on guys, they are not even producing any cars right now. I don't understand why they were in such a rush to go public if they don't have any revenue yet. Obviously it's because they need money. but I don't know what even Wall Street allows this. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys think Nikola Motors has the potential to be a direct competitor with Tesla. I do recommend you guys go and watch this video and if you enjoyed and found value in my videos consider subscribing and smashing the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you and see you next time.